I'm about to make my first cut with this Harbor Freight metal cutting bandsaw. I've rigged up a uh, coolant system here, which is, uh, well, it, it works at, um, this filming is going to suck, sorry. I had to put uh, this little stop up to to hold this so that the blade is not against what I'm cutting. Yeah, anyway, so I wired up this uh, cord right here into this little electrical box. It's just a really simple uh, four pin with a ground switch. Um, and these screws come undone and this pops out and you can just add on your wire. I drill the hole through the little plastic uh, or composite protection on the back to um, get the wire in there. And now anytime I turn on my saw, the uh, coolant system will be flowing. And I just added this uh, little spare car part right here. Um, I'm sure they're in the bike industry too, bicycle and motorcycle. I did not anticipate um, <laughs> water coming off of the piece I'm actually cutting, so that's interesting. Uh, this little bucket does not suffice uh, to catch the water. As you can see, the water is going to go the direction of the blade. And it's going to go in here. And it's going to come out right here. Actually, all along there. So for now, I got this uh, bigger bucket it's in. I think um, this looks like cast steel. Uh, if it is, I'll weld on um, a guide, a gutter system for the water because I like just having a small uh, water tank right there. Although I'll probably, you know, this is temporary. All this is temporary, but I strongly believe in coolant. Um, I've never had a tool with coolant at my home, but uh, you know, in industry places I've worked, um, there's nothing like it. So, uh, yeah. All right, cool, let's check this out. I've actually got it set to turn off when it's done cutting. You can see the uh, weight of the spring the way I have it set now and this uh, screw stop right here. This guy. Make it such that uh, it's not going to turn off on its own but if I push that down it uh, pushes that and I could tell it wasn't actually done cutting, so I do need to lower that um, screw so that uh, it can finish cutting on its own. But the auto turn off feature, uh, <laughs> manually, it's pretty cool. Um, nobody ever talked about that. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's got this riveted on guide uh, to tell you the angle. So this uh, stop right here is what you'd line up, so I put it at zero to make a 90 degree cut. And um, yeah, it appears to be, I, I put up this uh, crappy little thing here, put it in there and checked it. It didn't, um, it's not too accurate, so I don't know, but it seems about right. So there's a lot of things I need to, uh, you know, get back to you on, maybe make another video after I've used it a bunch. That was actually my first cut, no test runs prior and first time using this thing so um, yeah I looked into it before buying it with other YouTube videos and uh, uh, it's definitely worthwhile it's gonna get the job done way better than something like this which I was using for metal before with some metal cutting blades on a wood cutting saw which doesn't work the speed is too high it's vertical um, it, it's it's far more dangerous than using this I'm already thinking I can make so many more items with this, even though they're both bandsaws. So, so far so good. I'll have uh, another review sometime in the future.